Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are headed to Kalispell Army Navy in Montana. Briar is our contact there. Phone number is 406-756-3500. And the website is montanaarmynavy.com. All one word, lowercase, no spaces. Let's see what's headed their way. All right, we have two Nosferatu Auto. I kind of wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison because there are similarities and differences. So this is our new uh, tumbled stone wash process. Uh, you can see it has a high gloss, especially on the blade as uh, the S35, you can see the S35 and the titanium react differently to the new process, but they do have a very, very smooth, silky smooth touch, and they have a higher polished look to them, but you can still see the tumble marks. Brushed blue clip, you see how it's got the straight striation lines in from the titanium clip, and that's a similar, uh, uh, the similar to the other Nosferatu here that I have on the table that has those uh, faced flats on it. You see those very clean straight lines from the titanium. So this is straight up tumbled, and this is faced flats with bead blasted blue recesses. As I rotate it, you'll see that matte finish. It's got a very nice clean matte finish to it. And the blades are identical as they both have that new polish to it, the stone wash, I should say stone wash or tumbling. This knife here has blued hardware and clip. This here, again, it's bead blasted blue with faced flat, so it's got a really cool two-tone affect to it. So some similarities and differences there. We have two of our Scout MPs here. These are the two standard colors that are offered on the website, OD Green and Black G10. Occasionally you see Coyote and High Vis Orange, but for the most part, these are the two options. So you can see it uh, blade up. These are titanium uh, liner locks. PVD coated. We have a great PVD clip and you'll notice that right underneath the clip, there's a little bit of a, I don't see it so much on this one, but on here I do. You can see that it's got a softer, they, they machine away right on the G10 underneath the clip so that as you take the knife out, in and out of your pocket, it wears less on the pocket. So that's been smoothed out a little. So that's our Praetorian Scout MP as always. It's got the uh, old school uh, Betsy Ross flag. Just, I mean, the details on this knife are pretty amazing considering it's one of the more affordable carries that we have. And then I have uh, two Marauders here. One a little more tactical, S35 PVD Tanto blade, faced and galaxy flame handle. Just beautiful color on that. And I love it uh, with the background of the PVD, especially with the clip up against it. And then as I rotate it, we have blue pinstriping around the handle, around the spring, I should say. Got a nice, thick, tactical edge sharpened on it. S35 PVD Tonto, full thick Marauder. The second Marauder, so I would say we have our tactile and then we have our dressy. Um, the drop point here, this is our standard in-house tumbling process now. We have a stained glass with just bead blasted silver. So very sleek and classic. I, I, I think it's just an amazing look there. It really allows you to gaze at the beautiful sculpting and not get distracted by anything else. The last knife on the table, same pattern here, stained glass on our full-sized Praetorian tie. It's a bead blasted blue down in the recesses and brushed silver on the flats, which complements the satin blade beautifully and the brushed clip. So very sleek and clean look on that tie there. And again, these knives are all headed to Kalispell Army Navy in Montana. Again, Briar is our contact there. Um, so reach out and see what you can get your hands on. Keep watching the video. Till next time, I'm out.